What's up? What's down? What's all right? You know, the usual jazz. So today I'm going to teach you uneducated how to play the uh, age old game of chess arena. We just want to set the board up like so. Put it in the middle probably is a good idea. The queen goes on the, the same color as uh, she is, yeah. You want to place these here, the bishops, the castles go here, but they're actually called rooks. Probably want to line them up to be fancy. Now the easy way to remember the setup is the castle is always delivering a parcel. If you didn't know, the white player goes first. Your pawn can move like that. That's pretty good. You know, chess is a real thinker's game. So excuse me while I go make a cup of tea. I think the real important one is the haha -ha funny. <laughs> oh, look, it's done. I don't like my tea bag standing for too long, so I will just go. Bloop. All right, so now that you got your tea drink and mind thinker all prepared, uh, it's time for you to really learn how to play the old chesticles. Why story made is move, so a typical opening would be to then move the pawn. Uh, back right at him, you know, so it blocks him off. White's gonna go here. Classic stratagem is to uh, move the horse here because, you know, the pawn's all scared now. He's probably gonna move this pawn and then, like, I'm gonna do the real ballsy thing and move this. Uh, once you take a piece, you put it to the side because you own it now. And then he's gonna take my, my horse but um, I'm not really feeling that, so I'm just gonna hit him with a reverse card and that undoes the turn, um, but it also gets rid of his piece, you feel? Put that in the discard pile. Something that people like to do is play chess with a timer, but I'm not really about that life. So instead, when your opponent is waiting to make a turn, I like to uh, scramble up a Rubik's Cube and then solve it, and then that's how long they got. So time's up and he didn't make a turn. Good one, idiot. So now I get to make another move. This one. T's ready. Ow. Burnt my mouth. You know, I've decided it's my turn again because White's pretty bad at this game. I'm just gonna take this one from him. He's about to move the queen, but unfortunately I have a skip card. So he's looking pretty foolish now because it's my turn again. Move this here. He has to move this now. And oh, what's that though? Boom, he can't because I've skipped his move again and boom, he's dead. This is actually checkmate because the bishop can move back in time and checkmate the king, but that's only for the real sophisticated players. Oh, fuck, I didn't see that, bro. Oh, that does actually mean that I've earned myself two fish tokens which can be exchanged, if I have three fish tokens, they can be ex exchanged um, for one of my pieces. I think it's probably his turn now, and he's gonna be moving down here to threaten my uh, fish piece, which is actually pretty scary. But yeah, I play the one card and then spawn my fish on top of his bishop, so. His next move would be to go to this, and I'm just gonna take that, because he's a bit of an idiot, and then, Advance my fish up one. I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, the sneaky bugger used a draw four. That means that he gets four of his pieces back. Oh, I am so done in. He gets to place him wherever he wants. That, but he's looking pretty foolish because he did put his queen in the line of my sushi fish. Bam. Reverse cards aren't used just to reverse turns. Um, I can also use this one to reverse the direction of my sushi fish to the left. And so I'm gonna move over there, um, which lets me trade in my sushi tokens. Just give me a second. Ah! And I take this, takes uh, this square. 
Oh no, he's got another plus four. Basically, he can advance all of these four pawns, four steps, except he's a bit of an idiot because he put it there and it kind of fucked him over. And I'm just going to take this pawn. He's going to make the pretty smart move of taking my horse. We both get to draw one. Uh, I got a five, which is quite a important card. So I'm going to move my... Oh, gee, dearie me. I'm going to move my castle over to there. I'm guessing he's going to play his... Oh, no. Uh, we have to turn the Rubik's Cube up onto the green side and turn it twice. Um... <laughs> Oh <laughs> no, and then he can move his pawn backwards to take my queen. So lucky for me, I have yet to move my king. So I can move my bishop here and then use my moon crystal to have another turn. That does need to be on your side of the field at all times though. And this lets me have another turn in which I'm going to castle. It is time to pick up two Uno cards again. Oh, what does he have? It's his turn. So he's going to use the draw two. Uh, basically, uh, this is a pretty strong card. So I think he's going to bring back his queen in whatever place he wants. And then he's going to be taking my my card. It looks like he's going to take my pawn. But, you know, lucky for me, that lets me get back a fish token in the A8 A square. It's my turn, I'm gonna take this, and in response, you'd think he would be taking uh, my my um, knight, but I've decided to use my reverse card as um, another blockade, and when he tries to move, he gets bounced back all the way to the starting position. Shut up, fridge! One sec, I just need to bless this board quickly. I felt a bit of an evil demon coming into the presence of um, the board. So I got my succulent to pray it away. And you put it on D8 because I d do not like demons. A little known fact about the, um, the, the king is you can sacrifice two pizzas and he becomes the new queen. And so he's just going to move... <laughs> It would be a shame if he did take this piece because that would mean the the board is no longer blessed. I'm gonna take this. Uh, draw two Uno cards, of course. Two. Uh, yeah, I'll use that. Two means I get another turn. I'm gonna move backwards and take his king. He can bring back this, and if he gets rid of all these, and then paste that. There you go, brother. Okay, thank you. Uh, what is his card? Three, fuck. I was really hoping he wouldn't get the three card because now he can control one of my pawns, go backwards and delete this. So thanks, now Satan's infested the board. This fucking idiot, I go away for two seconds and come back and cause he got rid of the anti-demon spell, there's a fucking pentagram in the middle of the board now. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna have to do some careful operations here. Fucking... Uh sick as fucking white player <coughs> we've destroyed the pentagram but i wouldn't go in that spot anymore all right we gotta fucking pull out a w uh i'm gonna move here i'm gonna just quickly mix up the rubik's cube place it back he's gonna move here pretty good choice you know, card for him, a nine, that's a pretty good choice. It means he can pick up this pawn with this and demolish that one. Good move. Fuck. You know, I said we're not going into the pentagram, but I think we might have to with this pawn. Move in. Um, rub it. Taste it. That grants us three of these. I sacrifice them for my god card. The queen. I place it back here. He's going to have to move uh, this to here, which is a pretty good move, unless you know, boom, he's in check, has to move over to this. Uh, little idiot, I draw my unit card, a nine, which is a pretty good one. It means I get instantly teleported back to the ninth rank. He draws a card, three, pretty useless at this point of the game, I'm not going to lie. Praise my crystal, a la 
solve the Rubik's Cube again. Alright, boom. Sacrifice all my pieces. But one. And that's how you fucking play chess.